first of all, I'm really sorry about the lighting. We just, as you can see, my room used to be pink. I don't know if I have any videos where it's like totally visible, but my room used to be pink, but for Christmas we painted it this really pretty periwinkle bluish color. So all of my pink stuff that was in my room had to go, which was most of my lamps. So my lighting in here is not great. As you can see, it's like totally glowing behind me, but I didn't know what else to do. So we're just gonna have to live with it for a few videos until I can go out and get the proper lighting and things. Anyway, so it's a no-brainer that like I have not consistently YouTubed like every now and then every month or so a video will pop up for me and you know it's not like the best video but it's something but still like obviously I haven't like come up with a schedule and been like consistently there for you guys and that's something that was one of my new year's resolutions that I really wanted to do was have a specific schedule and start YouTubing consistently so y'all could see more things and so I could just move up in my subscriber amount and just do what I ultimately wanted to do in the first place. So, to follow through with my New Year's resolution, I have a video uploading schedule now officially, and I will also be more active on my social networking, which is Twitter and Instagram, and you can go follow me on those. They're both at Rebecca Marie, just spelled like my YouTube name, two R's and two E's. And yeah, so I'm excited to start with this New Year's resolution, and my schedule will be I post a new video every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, so... Three videos a week sounds pretty good to me. I don't know, I think three is better. Like, the more the better, right? Like, who cares what those toilet paper commercials say? Less is more, whatever. <laughs> on YouTube, more is more. So for my first video on schedule, I will be doing the what's on my iPhone video so y'all can get a good look into what's on my iPhone. We're gonna get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have the iPhone 4. So it's just a simple black phone. And my phone case, which I think is really cute, it's my favorite right now um, to be putting on it. It's a picture of the Cheshire Cat, and its body is spelled out in little words, and they say, You may have noticed I'm not all there myself. Which, you know, kind of fits with the Alice in Wonderland theme. Lock screen is a, just a picture of a bunch of bookcases, because I'm kind of a book nerd, so I thought it was a cute little artsy background for my phone. And at the top of my phone, it just has the time and the date. Sorry, it's not focusing. The time and the date and um, my reception or how many bars I have. If I'm connected to Wi-Fi or um, my battery percentage, which at the moment is 45%. So once you're in my phone, this is what you'll see. This is how I have it set up. So at the top here, I have my videos, which if you open it, I don't even know if I have videos right now. Okay, I have two movies. Don't watch either of those, but that's where if I download any movies from iTunes, they'll go there. And then I have my photos, which I don't know where it's going to be. You just go through and see all my pictures. And there's my camera app, which is obviously for taking pictures. So here, let's take a picture right now. Next is my weather app, and if you go there, it kind of gives you like the lowdown of what the weather for the week is going to be like in your area. Next is my app store which is where you can buy all the apps for your, or download all the apps for your phone and just go searching on like what's most popular, if it'll load, and basically that's about it. These are all the top charted apps, these are the top free ones. I'm sure a lot of y'all know kind of how the iPhone setup is, it's like any other smartphone. And then right here is my calendar app, so it just tells me um, what the date is and then I can write down little notes for that date like if I have a certain thing like oh I can type in my birthday and then it'll pop up when I go through my calendar and next is my notes and in here I have just random thingy bobs I have a friend's email um, my lovely youtuber friend's address some bible verses and other random bits uh, in my map section you can get instructions to a place and it'll give you uh, the directions on how to get there so you can find your way. Next I have YouTube which is one of my personal favorite apps obviously because I'm a YouTuber and um, I just love watching YouTube videos. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to me on my YouTube channel which you're watching right now. And so I can go through my videos and see how many views they've gotten and basically check my subscriber count. I do that a lot. So if I go to my channel right now, it says 
that I have 550 subscribers and my video will start playing, but no need to watch. So, don't forget to check out my channel, so I like to do that a lot on my phone because it's a lot easier than having to pull out my laptop. Next is the clock app, which you can use to set a timer. So, say I wanted to set a timer for 6 minutes, 7 minutes, and it'll just count down. It's kind of what I do when I take naps, but you know, when you take a nap, you kind of set it for like 19 hours, if you're me. <laughs> Uh, and then there's a stopwatch, say you want to work out and you have to do a 30 second plank, these are really helpful. Or has laps for like, say you're running around a track, um, which is really great. And then also you can set an alarm for remembering something, say like you have to bring something to school and you forget easily, you can set an alarm to go off right before you know you have to leave. And then also, if you're like me, who uh, stalks One Direction all the time, you have the times of all the places that they could possibly be in, such as LA, New York, and Cairo's for one of my friends that lives in Egypt, and I have no idea what Orange Estad is. <laughs> but, yeah, I like to keep up with uh, the boys. And in here is my social networking, and first of all is Instagram. And I do have an Instagram that you can go follow me at. It is at Rebecca Marie, spelled just like my YouTube channel, two R's and two E's. So make sure to go check me out and follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot more on there. And next is my kick, which is personal. And then there's my Twitter, which you can also follow me on. It is also at Rebecca Marie, spelled with two R's and a double E. So. Make sure to go follow me on there as well. I've been tweeting a lot more, and I will continue to tweet a lot more. And I don't have a lot of followers yet, but I know y'all will definitely follow me if you'd like. So make sure to go check me out on there. And then I have Snapchat, which is personal, and my 8-tracks, which I use to listen to music and just playlists that I really enjoy. And Vine, which um, is kind of personal. I don't really make Vines, I just watch them. And then my Pinterest, which is also personal, but I might be starting a non-personal Pinterest for this channel if I get enough subscribers. And next is my settings app, which it's not really an app. It comes with the phone, but I mean, you can open it. And it's basically where you can um, monitor or mess with all of the general settings on your phone, like your ringtone or your wallpaper or um, app notifications and all that good stuff. So... That's what's going on there. It's just for texting and iMessaging or whatever. And then there's a reminders app, which honestly, I don't even know how to use it. But I guess you set up reminders to go off kind of like an alarm on your phone. But it's specifically for reminders. So I have that. And then there's stocks, so you can check out the economy. Because I know we all check out the economy all the time. So good stuff, good stuff. And then there's FaceTime because uh, iPhones with front cameras, you have FaceTime or whatever, and that's one of my personal favorites. And then when you scroll to the right, I have my utilities box, which has a bunch more apps in it. First off is my contacts, which is obvious. It has all of my contacts that are in my phone saved in there. And then there's the calculator, so you can do some handy dandy math whenever you're out and about. And then there's the compass, which um, I never really use, but I guess if you get lost in a forest, that'll always come in handy. And next is voice memos, which are kind of like voice recordings on your phone. Before um, I got my MacBook, I used my voice memos to record all of my voiceovers for my YouTube videos. So it definitely came in handy. And then these next two are the Passbook and the Game Center, and to be honest, I have no idea what they are, and I never use them, so I'm just going to ignore them. And then at the bottom left is my USS, USAA, I'm horrible, <laughs> app. And I use that to manage my money um, on my debit card that I earn working on the weekends. So it's just kind of like my bank. And then there's eBay because I have an online shopping addiction. And eBay is where I get all my phone cases. And I have a phone case addiction. So I go on eBay a lot and shop for phone cases and I'll make sure to link down below where I got my phone case so you can go get it if you love it as much as I do. 
And then there's this, um, it's like GE bra, I don't know <laughs> what it is, but I think it's connected to the utilities in my house because my dad downloaded it after we got the new oven and I'm almost positive that I can turn the oven on from my phone, but I shouldn't try that right now. And then I have podcasts, which again, I have no idea what it does. I have a lot of apps on here that I never use. And then Google Earth, which allows me to kind of like creep on people. Like if I find out your address, I can go look visually and around your neighborhood and stuff, which I think is really fun. And then there's um, MapQuest, which is kind of like my map app. It gives me instructions to places that I don't know where to go. And then there's Newsstand, which again, I have no idea what it is. And then I have Find My iPhone, which we can use, um, my family uses to track each other kind of like basically like per se we couldn't get a hold of my sister we can track her iPhone and find out where she is in case something had happened so my dad just kind of downloaded it for safety reasons and that's also exactly what find my friends does so we have two tracker apps um, on our phones just so our family can keep up with us and then there's Viber which is almost like it's basically like texting without using data or um, your text message plan so like when family goes out of the country, we don't have to um, get charged for communicating with each other, so that's why we downloaded Viber. And then I have the iTunes Store and Media Burner, which is basically, it's almost like a music library. You can download like YouTube videos and keep them on your phone for free and play them as many times as you want. So I use it for a lot of my music or just funny videos that I always want to have on me, especially if I don't have Wi-Fi. And then on my third page is Netflix because I don't know about y'all but I am utterly utterly addicted to One Tree Hill and I don't know what I would do leaving the house without Netflix so I could watch it on the go so if you watch One Tree Hill too and you think Nathan and Haley are perfect and they're gonna be together five ever definitely like this video because you and me are one and the same. Next is my photography bubble and in here I have Widegram which gives you the white background Pick stitch, which you can use to make a little collage um, and just kind of put a few pictures into one. And then bokeh pick, which adds like cute little overlays like hearts or stars onto your picture. Split cam allows me to take two pictures and put them together. It's almost like a mirroring effect, except you take the pictures at different times. So I don't know if y'all have ever seen that, but it's a really cool app. I'm sure they have YouTube videos about it um, <laughs> that you could look at. I don't know. And then I have Paplook, which is a collage app. Um, I use it to make manips. And then PW Lite, I also use to make manips. I use these two together. And if you don't know what a manip is, go check out my friend Love from Leah X's channel. And she did a video on how to make manips. It's basically like uh, manipulating two pictures into one to make it look like you uh, took a picture with a celebrity, which is always cool for your hopes and dreams. And then I have. PicFlow, which is, uh, I use it for Instagram, and you can put a bunch of pictures to music into a video, and it'll play, which is really cool. And then I have VC, or VSCO Cam, I don't know, I call it VSO Cam, even though there's a C in there. And it's just, like, really good filters for pictures. I prefer using that over the Instagram filters. I think they're, like, more natural and just better. Then I have the Perfect 365 app, which I kind of thought as a joke, but it basically makes you look completely flawless. You can take your picture and manipulate it and edit it to like take away all your flaws and add fake eyelashes. Me and my sister thought it was hilarious, so we downloaded it, but I just kind of have it in there for the heck of it. And last of all is my countdowns. And so this countdown is for my One Direction concert. I currently have 222 days until unending happiness. And then my other countdown is for the Neon Lights Tour, which if you didn't know, are three of my favorite things in the world. It's going to be Demi Lovato with Little Mix and Fifth Harmony. I've met Little Mix and I've met Fifth Harmony and Demi Lovato. I've never seen her like in concert, in person at all, so I'm totally stoked and it's only like a month away. So super, super excited about that. And then down at the bottom I have my phone, which I use to dial obviously, my email, um, Safari, which is basically like Internet Explorer or any internet like surfer, and then my music, which has all of my stuff in there. Obviously y'all can tell that I'm obsessed with Midnight Memories by One Direction. And yeah, that's 
basically what's on my iPhone. So that's the end of my what's on my iPhone video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it, give it a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Rebecca Marie, just spelled like my YouTube name down below, and comment if you have any more video requests, or just tell me what you thought about this video, and also comment what your favorite app is on your smartphone if you have one, and if you don't, just comment something random because everyone loves a good comment. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on Friday. Love you!